Welcome back, you guys. We are about four hours into our first war between No Oinks Given and Hold the Bacon. And so far, No Oinks Given has about a 50 star lead, but has also used over half of our attacks, where Hold the Bacon is at 75 stars with 33 attacks. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the attack or um, the attack stats. Um, so so far, where is it? We have No Oinks Given has 36 three stars and eight two stars and so far it's zero one stars and zero uh, zero stars on the map and then the hold the bacon is at 19 three stars eight two stars and two one stars and so yeah let's go ahead and take a look at the map so i'll be going over most of the um most heroic attacks or the best three stars up until this point in the war and then at the end i'll also share um ash king's uh he, had, he did two attacks using an all ice wizard army and uh, about three Santa spells, I believe. So at the end of the video, I'll go ahead and share those with you guys. But let's go ahead and jump into the first replay here. Uh, this was done by, uh, I believe it's pronounced Small. Um, and he was going up against their top player, who it took us about six tries to get a three star on his base. So he was the um, he was the one that finally cracked it. And he is our number 11 going against our number one. So he ended up using a bit of a go we attack with a healer. And I believe it was bowlers in the clan castle. So he's going to go ahead and use an Earthquake to open up that middle compartment. And then he's going to wall break his top golem in. And then he's going to uh, create the funnel using his wizards all around the outside. And I believe he actually has three golems there. I didn't notice that at first. So he's going to go ahead and rage, it, rage up his wizards to take care of that dragon since he doesn't have any poison spell. Some big bombs are going to go off up top, but it's going to narrowly miss some of the wizards. And wizards under rage are going to hurry up and clean up that uh, middle compartment. And, and yeah, so the golems are going to go around, they're going to uh, set off one of those big bombs again, and the wizards are going to start taking some damage from those mortars and wizard towers. So he's going to have to go ahead and drop his heal spell, just as the bowlers are going around the outside with the healer on them, and one of the, that one bowler is going to go ahead and finish off that town hall while the other ones keep walking around. Still got a ton of wizards still up, um, his golems are about... About to go down as well, they've got the Barbarian King locked on, and about the Tesla Archer Tower Cannon shooting down. Barbarian King is also about to go down, I believe one more hit from that Mortar, or a Big Bomb. He's still got three bowlers up top though, under heal, and the last defense, which is the Tesla, is about to go down. So a very, very successful raid, still has so many of his troops still up, um, and all he has to do is really take out that Town Hall. So we'll go ahead and speed through that. So a really nice attack by Smell. He's in a bit of a, it's a pretty generic attack strategy for Town Hall 8, except in this war we've mostly been seeing the Govalo or Govaloon um, attack, so this was a bit different. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at a lower Town Hall level. Um, it's going to be R36 against their 37. So I, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. So Town Hall 7 versus Town Hall 7, uh, Stargarian. Uh, no Oinks Given going up against Alti McAlt from Hold the Bacon. So he's going to go ahead and lure the clan castle with his Barbarian King. He's going to take out a few Val- or almost take out a Valkyrie. He's going to lure the troops over to the corner. A surprise Tesla pops up there, but that's okay. He'll just avoid it and drop a balloon on top of it while he cleans up those CC troops. So Valkyrie's going to go down. Other minions going to go down. Tesla's barely going to survive, so he's just going to have to drop one more balloon on it. So a lot of the Town Hall 7s in this war so far have been going with the mass hog attacks. So this was a nice little uh, different attack strategy going in with a Balloonian. Um, and it ended up working out really well as well. Because uh, the air defenses were towards the outside of the base. So he's going to go ahead and rage up those balloons all towards the core of the base. And then he's going to drop a heal on the max balloons. At this point only really two archer towers and a wizard tower can really take down the balloons. So this is pretty much a pretty quick raid, and then he has the minions to help clean up. So another attack strategy we should see more of the Town Hall 7s use if the hogs weren't so popular right now. And also the drag attacks aren't allowed at the Town Hall 7 level uh, in this war. Um, so we will probably be seeing a lot of those mass hogs along with some maybe balloonians. Alright, the next attack is actually from yours truly. I was attacking their number 6, and I believe I am what number... Uh, 16. So my first attack was really good against number 6. However, my next one I was an epic fail. I'm not going to show you guys that. I'm a little embarrassed. But so this is the base I'm going up against. I believe it's a fully maxed Town Hall 8. 
Um, a lot of my troops aren't fully maxed yet. I believe it's just a golem, really, and my barbarian king. So I'm going to go ahead, drop some archers, minions on outside buildings just to clean up some of those buildings, and then a balloon on that bomb tower up top because it was unguarded. And then I'm going to go ahead with my kill squad, drop them on the bottom right side. Golems followed up by wizards, then wall breakers to break through the walls. I'm going to throw in my barbarian king to help tank a bit for the wizards as well and deal some damage to those defenses. I'm going to go ahead and drop uh, the rest of my wall breakers to try and break my way through those compartments. I'm going to use the rage now to help take care of the dragon and balloon. I was a little late on the poison. Uh, honestly, I forgot about it. So a few of my wizards are almost going to go down. A few of them were taken out by that balloon. But enough of them are still up. And I have some wizards working on that town hall as well. A wizard that's going to take out that air defense. That is my goal at this point, just to take out as many air defenses as possible. So having that one up uh, by the Barbarian King, I'm not going to be able to get to, so that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and start the loon por portion of my raid as the Teslas are distracted by the Golem. So I'm going to go ahead and use a rage to speed them up through that um, high DPS area just to try and get all those defenses taken out. So I'm going to miss that one Archer Tower, which is... A shame, but we can work around it. I still have five balloons left of my own and then five max balloons in my clan castle along with a heal and a haste uh, to take out three archer towers, a air sweeper, and an air defense. So I'm mainly going to focus on my max balloons because those are really going to be what carries this raid. Also, they're going against the air sweeper, so I'm going to have to go ahead, heal, and haste them just to get them to that air defense as soon as possible. Sadly though, I wasn't really expecting my balloons to go that way, but that is okay because I have my wizards still up that are going to take out that air defense for me, and now it is just a matter of cleanup. So that was my raid against their number 6. I was pretty proud of it, um, going up against a max town hall 8. But let's go ahead and move on to um, our number 2, or no, our number 3 I think, going against their number 2. This attack is by Alien, uh, one of our Titan town hall 8 players. So he's going to be using a variation of just about every Town Hall 8 strategy there is, except dragons and hogs. Uh, he's going to have some golems, a P.E.K.K.A., wizards, and balloons, and I believe bowlers in the clan castle. So he's going to start from the top left side. He's going to throw down his golems and then surround them with the wizards to take care of those defenses. So his goal is also to take care of those air defenses so that he can start the loon portion of his raid. And then he's also got the P.E.K.K.A. to come in behind once the funnel is set up. So some balloons and minions coming out of the clan castle. It's okay though, they're not really max balloons, so they're not as frightening. Um, so he's going to poison them and drop a rage. He's got the bowlers in the clan castle that are going to clean up that core quite nicely. And they're going to take care of those air defenses, no problem. Luckily also too, with the double bounce from the bowlers, they're going to bounce over that clan castle and hit the air defense behind it, which works out perfectly. And now the rest of the raid should be pretty easy since all the air defenses are already taken out. All he has to really worry about, worry about is a few wizard towers, one tesla, and not even an archer tower anymore. The rest are all the ground targeting ones, so this is pretty much already just clean up with the balloons. Honestly, he probably didn't even need all the balloons, but um, yeah, just a really great attack by Alien. Still has a haste and... Yeah, I think he's actually going to save nine of his balloons. Oh no, he's going to he's gonna throw them down at the end. Didn't even need them. Just swag it. Alright, next one is going to be our 12 versus their 7. Uh, this is done by Fabulous. And he's going to be using a bit of a different attack strategy that I haven't seen yet in this war at least. So he's got four healers, a few giants, and then a bunch of Valkyries. And I think he has bowlers in his clan castle, and that's what the healers are going to be used for, to heal those bowlers. So he's going to drop some wizards on the outside. Probably Most of them are going to die out to the point defenses on the outside and the mortars, but that is okay. He's just trying to create the funnel for his bowlers and Valkyries to go inside the base. So there it is. He's going to drop the Valkyries. They're going to make a beeline inside the base. And then he's going to drop the bowlers behind it with the healers. The bowlers are going to start walking around towards that um, Dark Elixir drill or Dark Elixir storage. And a few of them are going to still go outside, but one of them and a bunch of wizards are going to go towards the core. Uh, he needs to take out that dragon in the middle, so he's going to rage up some of his wizards and then a poison on it as well. The healers are all still up, and I believe they are locked onto the Barbarian King at the moment. Probably not what he wanted, but it still ended up working out, so that's all right. And he's still saving three wizards and two minions for the cleanup at the end, and he's also holding on to a heal spell. 
So Valkyries are going to get hit by that bomb tower's uh, bomb explosion as well as the big bomb. So he's going to go ahead and use the heal spell there. He's got the healers also locked onto the Barbarian King. So they're going to work, work their way into that compartment which is loaded with a ton of defenses. So having the Valkyries under heal plus the healers are going to help out a ton there. And then he's still got all the bowlers just working around the outside cleaning up some extra buildings. And as he works his way into the last compartment he's going to go ahead and drop some wizards off on the outside to help clean up as, long, as well as that minion. So at this point, looking pretty good, still got a few Valkyries up and uh, about three bowlers left and just to take out three more defenses. So the healers, I'm not sure where they went actually, but they're gone now. And so yeah, he's just got to take care of that final cannon and that is a raid. So a different type of attack strategy that also worked really well, so I thought I'd share that one with you guys. And then up next, this will be the last, or no, this won't be the last. It'll be the last attack from our clan, and then we'll take a look at the other clan's attacks. So this is going to be their 35 versus our 35. Um, or no, our 35 versus their 35. And it's going to be a mass hog attack, really popular with the Town Hall 7s. Um, and we'll just go ahead and show you guys that. So he's going to start by trying to lure uh, su Surprise Tesla. is going to block that, so he's going to drop a few more hogs. We're going to speed through this because it's a pretty generic attack. Uh, Dragon in the clan castle, he's going to go ahead, bring it over to the corner, surround it with his archers and then he'll start the hog portion of his raid. So I'm going to speed it up a bit more here. He's going to drop his Barbarian King surrounded by some archers, and then he's going to go for a bit of a shattered uh, uh, split up hog attack. And then he's also got a rage spell. Uh, big bombs actually, double big bombs, take out all those hogs, but he's also got the balloons and a few hogs left over to, um, to finish off the rest of the base. So now it's just really clean up. He doesn't have a ton of troops, so it's kind of going to take a bit of a bit longer to clean up the rest of the base um, but he will have enough time to finish it off. Just gonna take a little quick drink of water here. Alright so that was the last attack other than the ice wizard attack which will be at the end. So now let's take a look at the other clans best attacks so far. So first one they're actually doing a bit of a different strategy than us. We're kind of just like calling bases and going for it. They're doing a bit of a for the most part, they're doing mirrored attacks. Everyone goes for their mirror first. So this is going to be their 5 versus our 5. And it's going to be a go wipe attack. The first one that I've seen at least so far in this in this war so far. So he is going to go ahead, pick off some buildings on the outside. And then he's going to go start from the top left with his golems and wizards to create the funnel for his pekkas. He's going to wall break his way into that middle compartment. And both golems are going to follow along with some max wizards in his clan castle and then the pekkas behind. He's saving one pekka, which I believe he drops on the outside. Over here, followed up by some wizards. Uh, max wizards in the core just wrecking. And then he's going to use a heal spell to keep his, uh, his troops alive there. It's mostly on the golems and pekkas though. And he's just going to go ahead and stomp through this base. Uh, just a few cannons left, but he's also got three Pekkas, a Golem almost at full health, and then a few Max Wizards. So a really good go-wipe attack, almost textbook. Oh, there's also a cannon on this other side, but I don't think it'll stand a chance against all of these. So that's going to be a great attack by their number 5 on our number 5. And then the next one is going to actually be their number 6, taking on our, another, our number 6 against Master Vigo. So Assassin... Of hold the bacon is coming in with a bit of a go wipe again except a bit of a different variation with four earthquakes two heals and then I forget what he had in his clan castle probably bowlers my my guess we'll see though so he's gonna go ahead and drop, do it do it a bit differently he's got a max peck in his clan castle actually so he's gonna go drop peckas on each side and then they're all gonna meet in the middle because uh, of some dead zones and such and so they're just going to go ahead and wreck their way through this base. And then he's still got a bunch of wizards following up the P.E.K.K.A. and Barbarian King that are going to tank for it. And then he's also got the P.E.K.K.A.s on the outside. Uh, just against some splash damage uh, defenses right now. So that's not going to stand a chance against all those tanky units. Alright, um, we got about three more attacks before the Ice Wizards. So let's go ahead and take a look at their 26 versus R26. So we'll try, I believe it's a lower Town Hall 8 attack. So this is on a variation of a popular Town Hall 8 base, and he's coming in with a a much more balloon-heavy raid. Uh, it's still like the go go we 
Gawilu, don't know what it's called, but where you tr just aim to take out as many air defenses as possible and then you clean up with the balloons. So he's got bowlers in the clan castle, he's going to earthquake that core open, uh, giving him access to all three of those air defenses. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit. And with those bowlers under rage and then the golems tanking, they're going to go ahead and melt through that core and then he's just going to clean up the outside with his balloons. He had about 20 balloons, so that is plenty to get through this base. He doesn't even need them all. Um, still has 8 left over, and he's going to pretty much go ahead and clean up the rest of the space. And that is a great raid. Going to drop some more swag balloons on the outside and for another great 3-star. Alright, so yeah, so far their, all their best attacks have all been mirrored attacks, because we're going to go ahead and take a look at their 37 versus our 37. Ultimate Alt. So this is a Town Hall 7 attack, a pretty cool looking Town Hall 7 anti 3 star base. And he's going to do pretty much another mass skull or mass hog attack. He's going to go ahead and lure our clan castle with his giant, and then he's going to go ahead and take care of those balloons. I'll just speed through this part. He's got minions to clean those up. And then he's going to start the, the wizard, or sorry, the hog attack on the left side. So he's going to do a bit more of a... Um, He's going to spread out his hogs to avoid those big bombs. And then he's going to hit a few spring traps there, but he still has plenty of hogs to get through this base. And he's still got a heal spell, two heals, or one heal spell now, um, to pretty much take care of the rest of the base. So he's got a huge horde of hogs there coming in at those last that last archer tower. And then after that, it's just a matter of cleanup. So yeah, the Town Hall 7s, the hog attacks are very popular. We're seeing them everywhere. Um, so, considering mostly that they can't use dragons and all, but yeah. So anyways, this is another Town Hall 7 attack, 41 versus 41, except this is a non-hog attack. It's actually a giant wizard attack, something I don't see too commonly at Town Hall 7. But still works pretty much the same. He's going to go ahead and lure the clan castle, take it over to the corner, take care of that. Valkyrie's pretty pretty tanky and pretty tough to take care of actually on, on defense. So he's going to go ahead and drop his giants followed up with a ton of wizards. And then some max hogs in his clan castle on the right side. So they're going to hit some spring traps. So I believe only one hog is actually still up. So it's going to be up to the giants and wizards to finish off the rest of the space. It's mainly the top part of the base he has to worry about. Because that's where all the splash damage is. I could easily take out all of his wizards if it weren't for that heal spell. So he's still got one more heal spell left over. So he's going to go ahead and drop that now. All those wizards under heal are not going to be able to be taken out by that mortar. So they're going to go ahead and finish off the last few defenses, and that'll be a good, pretty good 3-star um, on a max Town Hall 7 base, uh, using a bit of a different attack strategy that we don't see too often at Town Hall 7s in war. So anyways, a really great attack. But let's move on to the Ice Wizard attack. Um, this is done by, I believe it's Ash King in our clan. Um, he must have been saving these forever and ha hasn't been able to attack other than in friendly challenges and stuff. So we'll go ahead, he attacked the bottom players, um, so he's got 50 Ice Wizards, and then 3 Santa Spells. Uh, the Ice Wizards, I almost forgot, they actually, they target defenses first, which is kind of weird. We, we could be expecting to see these actually back in the game with a new update. Supercell may be introducing another, um, some new troops, this will be available at, I believe, level 13 barracks. The tough part with this attack, though, is actually taking care of the clan castle, since the Ice Wizards actually target defenses, defenses first. He has nothing really except poison to take care of those clan castle troops. So he's going to have to drop his Barbarian King, and then he's going to try and lure the troops into that poison. And then he's got some hogs and bowlers in his clan castle. And there goes a Santa spell. He's going to drop it on basically nothing. Oh well. And then he's going to drop another one in the middle. So far he's only used about six Ice Wizards. Well, he's going to go ahead and drop some more off here. And here they all come. They're going to start swarming the space all the way around. He's still going. He's still dropping them. And there they go. They're going to take care of this Town Hall 6 base like it was nothing. So they're going to take care of that last defense, which was the Air Sweeper. And then they're going to start turning on that Town Hall. That Town Hall is going to go down almost immediately. And then these Ice Wizards are just going to go ahead, clean up the rest of the space. So pretty cool. I haven't seen those Ice Wizards in almost forever. It must have been tough being this guy because I likely he really he loves Clash of Clans since it's in this tournament and all, but he hasn't been able to attack using this account since he's been holding on to those Ice Wizards forever. Um, and then the other attack was um, 
Oh, that's our base. Uh, I think, I think it was this one. Let's see if it's the right one. Um, yeah. All right. So this is on a more of an actual tunnel six base. So he's gonna drop an ice wizard to lure that clan castle. He's gonna do the same thing as last time to take care of the clan castle, poison spell, and try and lure the troops into it, and then his barbarian king on that Valkyrie. So this time he's got giants in the clan castle. He's just gonna completely surround the base with ice wizards, and they're just gonna go in. He's gonna drop some Santa spells. Here they come. There we go, right on top of the defenses. But the ice wizards are gonna take him out before the Santa spells can hit. But anyways, anyways, that's most of the best attacks thus far in the war. I'll be making a another war recap video once this war is finished, and we can take a look at some of some more awesome three-star attacks, as well as some of the top performing bases uh, in this war, as well as we can see who actually pulls out the win in the end. Um, because they still have a ton of attacks left, but um, so far we have all their top bases three star. We just need to clean up some of the other ones with, I think, limited amounts of attacks left. A lot of our tunnel sevens uh, haven't attacked yet. Um, but anyways, until then, I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace. Looking down.